What's up fellow Earthlings? Welcome back to the channel, Austin Hustler Hires, where I teach you epic hustle ethics. Today is going to be more like a vlog. You're going to be going along with me throughout my day. I'm grabbing my keys right now. I'm going to head over to my Airbnb, which is on my property. I don't have to drive there. The keys are so I can go to the rage room and grab a couple of cleaning supplies that we need here. Um, and also I'm going to go to Lowe's and grab a couple of things I need to spruce up my Airbnb. So, we're gonna go ahead, get the Airbnb ready to rock and roll today. I'm gonna get my backyard cleaned up a little bit, get my dogs cleaned, do some maintenance on the trucks, clean them out because it's been a long two weeks for junk removal and rage room and also the Airbnb has been packed. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I appreciate you guys joining in. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get on with the day. All right, so I'm in my garage. The first tip of the day I have for you guys for an Airbnb is always get white sheets and white everything for your Airbnb. White pillowcases, white quilts. The reason I like to get white stuff for my Airbnb is so that I can use bleach. Bleach is a very good cleaning product and it will get everything out of your white sheets. So, and it just makes everything look really clean. Compared to any darker colors, people go in, they don't really know if they're clean or not, but if you see white and it's been cleaned and it smells like bleach, that's the best thing to do for any kind of Airbnb or rental that you guys have. So that's the first tip of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I get some bleach. I have it on my list. All right, so this is my list for the day, guys. I have sprayer for uh, bug spray. I like to spray bug spray all around the house and around the Airbnb once a month. I have paint for the tub and toilet because it's starting to look a little yellowish in there because I have a well on my property. And then, you know, if you don't know about wells, they have a lot of minerals that come out of the water and it kind of makes this yellowy, rusty look. So I'm gonna get some paint to whiten up the bathroom a little bit. Um, I'm gonna get a new wax ring for my toilet in my house because my kid put a toy down the toilet and it's not flushing very well right now. So I have to take the toilet off and then I have to take the toy out and then I have to put a new wax ring, put the toilet back together. Um, I have to get some Windex some hydrochloric acid, which is a very good cleaning product that you can make naturally with water, salt, and vinegar. I'll show you that when I get to the rage room. Also, I need to get some bleach, like I said, so I can bleach these white sheets. So let's get to it. So the wife has already gotten on cleaning the dogs for the day. This is Onyx, if you haven't met him before. He is my new foundling, and uh, he's getting really big, only a couple of months old now, and he's probably like 70 pounds. Say hey. All right, so he's nice and clean. The next one to be cleaned is Patches over there, and she doesn't like water, so have fun with that, babe. Okay, so I'm walking into my Airbnb area right now. This is on my property. It's nothing super special. It is just a 26-foot RV. It is a Prowler, and I got this RV for $500 off of a junk removal years ago. I decided I'm gonna use it to make some money. So here we are inside my Airbnb, the 26 foot Prowler. We have a refrigerator and a microwave. We have a window AC unit, which I like my guests to use the window AC unit because that runs off of the 30 amp breaker I have hooked up in here. Um, opposed to this AC on the top, which for some reason runs off the battery of the RV. And I don't like the guests to use that one because it tends to kill the battery. Then I have to replace the $100 battery almost every single stay. We've got our cure rig over there and we've got a little toaster oven and a sink and a little couch to sit on. This is one of those slide out areas in the RV and right behind me there we have a TV hooked up with a fire stick so they can watch Hulu, Netflix, Disney Channel, whatever they want and a little table section so they can sit down and eat. Back here we have our sink. This is the bathroom area. It's kind of small so let me turn the camera around real quick. Okay, so this is the bathroom area. We have this uh, curtain door on the bathroom so we can close that up and they can have their privacy there. Um, so this is the shower I was telling you about. As you can see, it's getting kind of yellow because of the minerals that come out of my well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some white paint today and spruce that up a little bit. And you can see the toilet is kind of yellowing on the top. It's been painted before, but it's scratching off. It really doesn't look that bad on the inside, but I just wanna make it look really clean in here. 
Um, right across from that we have our sink for the bathroom, a mirror, and another full-size mirror with um, towels in it. This is our bed. I have to get the, sheet, the sheets bleached and put on the bed before 4 p.m. today. So I am on crunch time. We've got a window there and another door there which I keep locked at all times. And this is basically the bedroom, guys. We have storage up top, little books um, set all around the RV. So that's the little tour of my RV, guys. In these cabinets, we keep pots and pans and cups and uh, silverware down here in the drawers, everything you would need to kind of live for a week or so in an RV and enjoy your time here. Um, we make about twelve to 13000 extra dollars off of having a small Airbnb on our property like this. I'll go ahead and show you. Some of you are probably wondering how does the sewage work and the water and all that. I'm going to walk around outside and show you how that works. Let's go. Oh, and also before I go outside, we have a, a radio with a CD player here so they can jam out. It's got a full surround sound system here in the RV. That's typical for RVs, but if you don't know, about RVs that's a pretty cool little tip let's walk around the side here it has an outside shower so they can rinse off before they go inside if they you know just got back from the beach or something um, this whole area is enclosed by a six foot fence so they have their privacy right here is where my water comes in and I do have this filter here and I change that out every couple of months so that keeps a lot of the yellowness out of the um, out of the water in the RV but it doesn't quite get it all over here on the wall, this is where I brought in my 30 amp power and the RV plugs in right here and goes straight in. Um, and then over here, so that's where the power goes in. This is the septic tank drain out and I have it going all the way out into a PVC pipe which runs into my septic tank in the front yard. And yes, I did all of that myself and it works flawlessly. So pretty proud of myself there guys. We have a nice little deck and seating area with an umbrella out here and a grill for them to chill out and kind of grill out if they want to maybe sit out here with their laptop and study. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my Airbnb area. Nothing special, but it does bring in twelve to $13,000 extra per year. Let's get going to the rage room and to the store, grab the stuff we need so we can get back and get this hustle on. Cat's just getting her bath. She doesn't like water too much, but she is being a good girl right now. And she's got her big boy Onyx to help her stay calm. All right, I'm headed to the rage room and to the store. How to... Tell them what to do, Magnus. Can you say like and subscribe? Like and subscribe. Just arriving here at the rage room, guys. I'm gonna go ahead, go inside, grab these chemicals, grab the sprayer, uh, and a few other things. Okay, guys, I've got my mop, my brand new sprayer for the uh, bug solution. I've got my hydrochloric acid and some trash bags, all to uh, get the Airbnb up and ready. Let's go to the store and get a couple things from there. Also, guys, I wanted to show you this really quick before I leave. I was trying to develop a way to tell the ragers here in the rage room when their time is up. So a better, more effective way than knocking on the door, banging on the door, opening it up while they're raging, which is kind of dangerous. They are smashing stuff, there's loud music playing, so a slight knock on the door they might not hear. But I installed this yesterday, and uh, this is gonna be pretty loud, so you uh, might want to close your ears. <laughs> so. I installed that alarm and I can basically switch it on and off really quickly to let the ragers know that their time is up. Now in the instructional video that I'm going to be making for the ragers, it's going to say, you know, in this room, fellow earthlings room, you'll hear one alarm go off in the aliens room, you'll hear two alarms go off so that way if there's two ragers going on at once. I'll have a signal for each one of them to know when they are done raging and I'll let them know that signal before they go in the room so that the way it's fresh on their mind and there's no way they're not going to hear that over their music and their raging. So that's my efficient way I figured out to kind of let them know they're done. Let's get out of here guys. 
All right, I got everything locked up, and uh, the last thing I have to do is lock this back door, and we are out of here on the way to the store. Let's go. Look at that, guys. One of my favorite cars in the world right there. Wow, it's pretty sunny outside, guys, so I'm going to need some sunglasses. But I don't think I want to wear these ones today. Actually, I'm going to wear these new sunglasses. I'm actually going to unbox them in front of you. These glasses I got for free. Basically, I got sent an email from this company called Techna Gadgets, and I want to give them a shout out. Guys, this is not a paid ad or anything. I just really wanted to give these people a shout out because they sent me some free sunglasses just because they like my YouTube videos, and I figured I would share them with you because they are really cool, really nice sunglasses. I'll have my phone recording scrolling through basically their website. They sell sunglasses, watches, accessories like bracelets and stuff. Let me go ahead and open these things up and show you how really um, how nice they are. I haven't op opened them yet, so let me put my camera right here. Alright, so it comes in this really nice box, guys, uh, with the G on it. These are called Raymond Driving Sunglasses. And I believe these sunglasses are to uh, basically wear at night to keep the glare off of your eyes. And also, you know, you can wear them in the daytime too because they're really nice sunglasses. So they come in that really nice box. Um, and then they have a case that they come in, really nice case, um, nice zipper on them. And then they also come in this uh, silk little baggie here. So let me go ahead and open them up and actually show you guys the product. They package them really nicely. So they're in the box, in the case, in the silk bag, in a plastic bag. And inside the plastic bag are the sunglasses um, wrapped up in this um, protective plastic as well. So this is how they come brand new. Really nice sunglasses. I'll do like a, a close up right there. These are metal frames, guys metal frames let me take the plastic off here so I really like the look of these glasses and um, they have like that carbon kind of fiber look on the side of them they have two holes here and they're actually pretty comfortable fit they flex pretty nicely and they look pretty awesome right I think they look pretty cool they also have this yellow tint let me see if I can show you guys basically when you look through them if I can get the camera to adjust. So there you go. You can see how they have like a yellow tint to them. So it gives you, um, it basically cuts out all the glare and it gives you this uh, really cool, very clean look when you look through them. So you tell me guys, you know, I think these cost like 60, maybe 70 bucks on the website. Check them out, technagadgets.net. Again, this is not a paid ad. I just wanted to give these people a shout out for sending me some free merch, which is really cool. And uh, maybe you guys, you know, go on there, check them out, maybe even purchase a pair for yourself. If not, oh well. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead into Walmart with my new pair of shades. Thank you, Techno Gadgets, for sending me these, uh, these glasses. I think they're really cool. And uh, I would compare them to the Oakleys I have. Actually, the metal frames seem like they're more sturdy than these uh, plastic frames on these Oakleys that I have. And they're not as, um, they don't feel as strong, actually, the Oakleys. But they, they have a similar look to them as well with the blue tent and everything. So anyways, let me go ahead and get inside Walmart and buy this stuff I need to buy. And we're going to get back to the, the um, we're going to get back to the house so I can get this Airbnb set up before 4 o'clock. It's currently 1223. Let's go. All right, Walmart is packed. Always empty out your links. All 
right, so this is the solution I use. It's basically like a do-it-yourself professional solution. B-I-F-E-N-I-T. Um, basically, you fill this up here and one ounce you mix with one um, gallon of water and that is the solution mixture that it says to use. You get that opened up and all you do is squeeze the bottle and it goes up this little straw here and fills it up to the one ounce mark right there. I just go ahead and pour that inside of my gallon jug. Okay, so that's my one gallon of water. I always put the uh, chemical in there first, so as I'm adding the water, it mixes up, and then I screw this back on, and I'll give it a little bit of a shake to get extra, a good, a good extra mix in there. So, a little shake there. Now my poison is all ready. I'm gonna go spray around the house, around the RV, and inside of the RV, because this stuff is good for the inside and the outside with the mixture that I made. So I'm gonna let that solution dry up for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna get in here and really deep clean this place. Let's go. I also like to mist all of the fabric in here because this stuff, like I said, it disinfects everything. So this is like a fabric cleaner, a surface cleaner. Um, it, it, I'll spray it on the bed, I'll spray it on the pillows, and it's gonna make everything smell really fresh. It's gonna deodorize it. It's also gonna disinfect it and get all the germs off of it. Um, so this is great for everything. This thing will even clean all your mirrors and glass. So hydrochlorous acid, guys, look it up. Look how you can make it. Go buy one of the machines online. They're like $100 to $200, and it's a great investment to save you on chemicals, and it's all natural chemical too. So you don't have, sorry, so you don't have to spray all this Lysol and stuff that's mixed with all this, this stuff that's bad for the human body. Airbnb is done, so I'm going to go ahead and get on to the next project for the day. Let's go. Alright guys, time for the next project. Like I said, our toilet hasn't been flushing too well lately, and I think that um, my son may have thrown a toy in there and it got stuck. So I got me a wax ring. We got to take this toilet off, set it in the bathtub, and try to see if there's anything stuck in the bottom of it. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, whatever it takes. So the first thing you wanna do when you're trying to disconnect the toilet is uh, come back here to your water supply and you're gonna wanna turn that water supply off. So righty tighty will be off. And then you're gonna wanna try to get as much water out of the toilet as possible. So you just go ahead and flush it and let all that water drain out and that way the water shut off so it shouldn't refill. These bolts on e is one on each side. We're gonna take those off and then we're gonna go ahead and lift the toilet up and see what is underneath. And I think it's stuck in this pipe right here, that little wavy pipe. I think there's something stuck in there preventing us from flushing um, completely like it should. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay guys, so we got the toilet off and just like I suspected, there is a toy stuck in the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a toy out and show you why our crap hasn't been flushing. It smells like 
absolute ass hole. It's probably shit all over the place. Yep, it's definitely shit all over the toy. Oh yeah. And that there is not supposed to go down the toilet. He's covered in poop. And that's why it hasn't been flushing properly. So now that I got the toilet out, I actually broke a piece because I made a rookie mistake and forgot. I shut the water off, I showed you guys that, but I forgot to take the hose off. So I broke that when we were trying to take it out. So now I have to replace that part, clean up down here. I have to clean up that wax ring and, uh, and replace it with a new one and put the toilet back and we should be good to go. So throw this in the trash and let's get started. All right, so now I'm gonna scrape off the wax ring with one of these pink scrapers here, guys. Basically all you do, stick it on there and you just scrape it off. And the wax, the wax looks really gross, but that's just the color of the wax ring. It's really not poop or anything. It just looks really gross. Um, but there may be some human feces there from when we lifted up the toilet. So yeah, just so you guys know, I definitely don't enjoy doing this. I just have to because I don't want to hire a plumber this would cost probably over two hundred dollars for someone to come and do and all I had to do is lift the toilet out take the toy out and replace the wax ring now I, I gotta replace another part too but that's that's only a thirteen dollar part so not too worried about it all right so this is the piece that I broke guys I just got it off the toilet so as like as I said earlier you see this brown stuff all over it's really really thick in here that is the minerals from our from being on a well um, so basically the well water has these minerals in it and, and it doesn't get filtered out without installing a filter or a soft water filter or something like that which we do not have um, and it causes your toilet to just build up gunk like this so I'm actually going to clean this out as well as replace this piece and our toilet will be as good as new let's go Boom! Alright guys, I just got back with, with the new part from the store and I also bought one of these new hoses to go down there because the old one was just old. So, got a new one of those and a new one of these. Let's go ahead and install it, clean the inside of the toilet out, put it back on, and let's get on to the next project for the day. Yeah. Okay guys, so this is how it should look. Got the new bolts in, got the new wax ring on there. And I got the new part put in the toilet right there. I'll show you one once I get it in a better shot of it. So it's all ready to be put back in place. Um, yeah, it's pretty disgusting in my bathtub right now, so I'm really gonna have to clean that out once we're done here. Got my wife coming inside to help me put the toilet back in place. I'm just gonna get everything really cleaned up and uh, call it a day with the toilet. Okay, now for the true test. Got the water hooked up. It's filling up the bowl up top. Got my new mechanism in there. And it should stop the water once it gets to a certain point. Which should be here soon. Boom. Alright, so it stopped filling. It filled the lower bowl correctly. And let's go ahead and flush the toilet and see what happens. If we get any leakage down below, that means that the wax ring did not seal properly. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that was a beautiful flush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got no leakage down below that I can see. All right. Our new toilet is installed, guys. I just have to clean the lid up, put the lid back on, and then detail the shit out of my bathtub. Boom, guys. Just got done cleaning the bathroom. The tub's all cleaned out, disinfected, and the toilet flushes like a champ. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go shower up, guys. This is the end of the video. I appreciate you watching it all the way to the end. Do your best on every video to watch it till the end for me because it really does help out the algorithm and the watch time. 
and it helps show my video to new people so I can get some more subscribers coming in here. I need your help to do that. So hit the like button, that will help me out a lot. And also just try to watch the videos as long as possible. I wanna be completely transparent with all of my subscribers, so I appreciate you guys. And until next time, this is Austin Hustle Hires with Epic Hustle Ethics. Hopefully today I showed you some epic hustle ethics and you learned something from this. If not, hopefully you enjoyed it while you were sitting there on the couch or whatever you were doing. I appreciate you watching. Until next time.